everyone. Welcome to the first ever polynerdic video review of a movie. <laughs> um, my name is Shad. If you don't know who I am, I am the face, voice, and brains of polynerdic.com and everything polynerdic related. And uh, this is something I've wanted to do for a very long time, but did not have the means to do it. I did not have a camera at all. Um, granted, this camera isn't the greatest camera. It is um, a very cheap camera that I've, I picked up because as I've said in many other occasions, in many other places, uh, everything we do here is a labor of love. It makes no money for us, although we do have a Patreon, if you're interested, not gonna beg. Um, the, uh, everything's a labor of love, everything's financed out of my own pocket and my pockets are not deep. So we're trying something new with the means we have. I apologize, internet, if this quality isn't up to what you want it to be. Um, I would like to be on the level of like an Angry Joe or a Jeremy Johns but this is the best I can do right now. So we're gonna do the best we can do with what we have, right? That's, I mean, that's all you can do, really, right? You know, the world's gone to shit out there, viruses and politics and fires and all that stuff. Let's forget about it for a second and talk about a movie that's fantastic, and that is Knives Out. Knives Out uh, is the, I like to think of it as a follow-up or a comeback, if you will, because you know, Ryan Johnson, the writer-director of Knives Out, is a much maligned man on the internet thanks to Star Wars The Last Jedi. Um, he also directed and writ, wrote... Writ? Uh, <laughs> he's also the writer-director of Looper, which is a fantastic movie. I love Looper. I think Knives Out is a return to form. Um, Knives Out is a fantastic film about Harlan Thornsby, a mystery writer, a very successful mystery writer, who is found dead one day. And it's the day after his birthday... And his whole family is home to celebrate his birthday the night he dies. And they're all suspect. And they are all fantastically cast. Uh, Jamie Lee Curtis plays his daughter. Don Johnson plays his her, her husband. Um, Michael Shannon plays the younger brother. Um, Tony Collette plays his daughter-in-law, uh, who's a very Gwyneth Paltrow-esque character. She runs like a self-help skincare kind of thing called Flam, and uh, reminded me of Gloop or whatever the fuck uh, Gwyneth Paltrow's thing's called. Um, anyway, they, they're all there, they're all suspect, and Daniel Craig shows up as Benoit Blanc, the private eye expert kind of, kind of, um, He's brought in, he's a private eye, he's brought in, forgive me, I lost my train of thought there. I know that's super professional, but I'm gonna leave it in because that's how we do things around here. Um, Benoit Blanc is a, an expert private eye. He's brought in by someone he doesn't even know who did it. He doesn't know who hired him. That's part of his personal mystery here. He wants to solve what happened with uh, the death of, the, of Harlan, and he also wants to know who the hell hired him because he doesn't know. He just received an envelope full of money with a newspaper clipping. So he wants to know who did it. Was it a suicide? Was it murder? Um, and he picks, of all the extended family, Harlan's nurse, Marta, played by Anna de Armas, a woman I've never seen before, but I loved her in this movie. She is so freaking perfect as this uh, just legitimately kind person who throws up when she even like she gets enough to the stomach when she even thinks about lying but she literally vomits when she lies like if she tells a lie she, within seconds she's throwing up and it, it's, it's hilarious it's charming she's wonderful in this movie she's kind of the heart and soul of the movie daniel craig is very obviously having fun as as benoit blanc he uh is just kind of chewing up the scenery having a hell of a good time it's it's I, there's no way this man wasn't having fun uh chris evans is in it he plays jamie lee curtis's son he's a perfect bastard throughout this whole movie just this like spoiled entitled punk son of a bitch that you just you, like you, you just don't like him from jump although he does have some funny funny moments in the uh the movie uh, especially when it comes to interplay with the rest of the family everyone's kind of just backstabby and and, and everyone has their own reason to why they would have been the one to kill Harlan. And that's the bulk of the movie. I don't want to get into the, the who done it and why. I will say that I um, 
very early on guessed which one was the culprit, uh, but all the other details, I could have had no idea what they were until they were revealed, you know. You couldn't truly nail down what happened and why with the individual family members until the story tells you, right? So I thought it was a fantastic movie. I give it a 9 out of 10. It is almost a perfect movie in my opinion. Almost a masterpiece, I should say. 10 out of 10 does not mean perfect on our scale. And that is something down below. I will put the link to the Polynerdic rating scale. I have it up on polynerdic.com. Um, a 9 is a really, really, really good movie. Uh, a must-see property. A 10 is not a perfect. It is a masterpiece. Um, you know, the quote-unquote Susan Kane. Of, of cinema uh, they uh knives out definitely a nine though you got to see it uh i know it's been out for a little while you can rent it on your your playstation your xbox uh i'm sure it's out you know if you still buy physical media obviously i i do um knives out is fantastic it's a must 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 see uh don't miss out on it don't sleep on knives out thank you for watching uh, make sure you like, follow, and subscribe. Polynerdic on Twitter and Facebook and Instagram, YouTube, Twitch, and bookmark polynerdic.com where everything goes up. We have a weekly podcast goes up every Saturday morning called The Ordinary Podcast. And I'll see you for more uh, because I am going to record a number of reviews today. That's, that's what today is about. I'm just going to review them while I have daylight and because uh, I have bad lighting in this apartment. Anyway, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.